back to my channel. If any of you are new, I'm Ivy. Welcome to I Dab Import, where I share all things beauty, style, and confidence. And before we even get into the video, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It'll be linked right down here. Also hit the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload. It will shoot up as a push notification on your phone. And like and comment if you love anything related to beauty, style, and confidence, because that's what you're gonna get here on my dab report. Okay, so today I'm really excited about today's video. Um, we are going to go behind the scenes, get a little access granted. Do y'all remember that show on BET like years ago? Anyway, this is what this video is about. I'm going behind the scenes. I'm going to shoot a YouTube video, show you a little bit of editing. This is not an editing tutorial. I am not an expert, um, but show you just a little bit of what I do to edit. And, oh yeah, I'm hot. And I'm going to show you a behind the scenes of a photo shoot. Husband and I are going to take a few photos to show you a quick, like how we little scout a location and how we take the photos. And um, if you want to see how to edit a photo, I may do a video on that separately because that's like a whole thing. So anyway, let's get into today's video. So since we're behind the scenes, I'm taking y'all really behind the scenes. So I'm sure that I look a little crazy. However, we're gonna fix that so i did a braid out on my hair um a few days ago and a few pieces were just starting to get a little flat and frizzy so i just fixed a few so i'm gonna take those down and show you how i fix my hair so basically my braid out i use a perm rod on the end i unravel and you see it's like a pretty curl at the end this is the styler i use it is by camille rose naturals it is their moisture butter curl aid really love it and so i just undo the braid and you can see it looks super curly and luxurious, very moisturized. And then you just want to pull it apart. Let your hair separate wherever it may. Don't try to force it. Just run your fingers down the part. And as you can see, wherever it starts to separate, just let that naturally happen. You're going to get a less frizzy outcome. And so I'm just going to finish taking out my braids and fluff up my hair. And so I will speed through that. Okay, makeup is done. And um, sorry, I didn't record it. My phone ran out of storage, real life. Um, but yeah, makeup's done. Now I'm getting ready to uh, put on my outfit. Um, that's always a big planning feature. Make sure you plan what you're going to wear, what you're gonna talk about. Um, so this video that I'm recording will be an unboxing that should be up either next when you're watching this or it may already be up by the time you're seeing this, but that will be an unboxing. Really excited about that. And um, yes, I'm going to go put on that outfit and then show you how I set up my equipment. Okay, now everything is set up, so I'll take you through it really quickly. So I have two umbrella lights. They come with a huge light bulb and stand. They will be linked down below. Usually they're available on Amazon. These were gifted to me by my dad because he does own a photography company. I will leave the link to his business down below. And then, you know, got to make it work. So I have my monitor set up on my ball chair, which I do switch between my ball chair and my regular desk chair when I'm sitting at my desk. And, you know, I didn't have another table, so making it work. I'll link that below as well. And then my camera that I used to record with is the Sony Alpha 7. Again, gifted to me by my dad. Really appreciate it. It's wonderful for recording videos. Really great quality. I will find a link to that below as well. So that is my setup. As you can see, it's super bright. So it's going to be lit for this video. Hello. <laughs> So I'm gonna record this video and then I will take you guys along on the photo shoot. Also, shameless plug, so I was just mentioning that all of my lighting and camera was gifted to me by my father because he owns a photography company with my mom. Um, it's called Davenport Projects. If you are in North Carolina and you live in the Wake County, Durham and surrounding areas, then please check them out. They are absolutely wonderful people. 
and I'm not just saying this because they're my parents, they really are great. My dad has been a photographer for the majority of his life, so about 50 plus years of photography experience. He is awesome, does quality work, great pricing, and he's a wonderful person to work with, and my mom is just an angel. So definitely check them out. Their um, website will be linked in the bio as well as our Instagram page because that's where you'll see some good stuff. So definitely check them out. Okay, so I just finished recording the video. Now I'm in the photo shoot outfits. I'm doing three outfit pictures today. I try to do at least three at one time so I have um, enough content to post throughout the week or a little bit longer. Um, so I usually work backward, meaning that the last outfit will be the one that I am going to wear for the rest of the day. So the first one is usually the most difficult to get on. These jeans are tight. <laughs> I feel a little bit poured into them, so I did not want to change in the car in these jeans, so I just put them on first. So um, if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I am not from Baltimore, so it is a new city for me to explore and I'm not sure of all places to take great photos so I do Google basically like photo worthy locations or Instagram worthy locations whatever have you and um, that's how I kind of scout locations or if me and husband go get dinner somewhere um, and I think it's a cute area then I try to remember that and go back there so that's kind of how I pick my location for photo shoots so we are getting ready to go there and i'll show you a quick clip oh, <laughs> i'll show you a quick clip of what it looks like when he takes my photos he is using my iphone to take them because iphones do really great with photo taking and it's wonderful quality so and it's very accessible because a lot of people do have iphones so highly recommend shooting this was the last outfit so you'll see that soon on my instagram make sure you're following me at i davenport so also i shared that i was going to show a little bit of me editing um again this is not an editing tutorial because i am no pro but i so when i first started my channel in 2017 i used imovie that was already downloaded on my mac uh, computer so that's a wonderful program to use. It's very user-friendly. There are tons and tons and tons of YouTube videos on how to learn how to use it. And I think it's great. Um, I use Final Cut Pro now, just a few extra features. Um, still user-friendly once you figure it out, it's pretty user-friendly. Um, again, lots of YouTube um, videos that will explain it. Please subscribe and like this video if you enjoy spending a day with me and coming behind the scenes. Hoping to bring you more content like this soon. Comment down below, tell me what your favorite part of the video was. And if you live in Baltimore, let me know of any places where I could shoot. That would be beautiful backgrounds for Instagram and just other platforms. Thanks again so much for watching this video. And I will see you all in my next one.